So you have a pair of AirPods Pro and it looks like you're carrying a dental floss around. But I have to admit, they do look amazing even though they look like dental floss. But let's be realistic. Despite Apple making great products, their products tend to scratch, especially if you put them in the pocket with the keys or something else. So it's always a good idea to have a case for them. Now there's a lot of choices out on the market. One of my favorites was the Nomad leather case. But my biggest complaint has been not having a secure fit, the top not going all the way down, and then I wasn't a big fan of the black design around the edges. I mean, if it fits you and you like that type of design, then go for the Nomads. But today I'll be unboxing the Native Union black leather case for the AirPods Pro. And I think Native Union makes really sleek looking products, and I'm gonna unbox it and review it on the AirPods Pro, so stay tuned. So, first off, I really like the design of the box has Native Union on it, picture of the case, leather AirPods Pro case. They have a little hook to pull it out. Some information on the back indicating it's genuine leather. And then let's go ahead and open it. So this is made out of Italian leather and it's really, really, really smooth. I can feel it. There's no hard plastic inside. It's actually all leather. Now, many of the other cases on the market usually have some plastic on the inside. And this is one of the few cases that does not have any plastic on the inside, but is just pure leather. So it is very sleek looking. It is very soft to the touch. And there's no plastic on the inside. So that's good. So that's something that I like. So let me go on to the bottom portion. Now there's a little cutout for your light when you're charging it. There's a cutout on the bottom for plugging it in and charging it. And the main reason why I went over this case versus the Nomad case, now both of them are comparably priced. They're both pricey. I just didn't like the Nomad design on the side with the black going around. I like this better. This is just stitching so the leather is stitched together. So it was just a matter of preference. I mean Nomad's uh, leather case was my second choice. But overall it looks really sleek looking. There's not much logos. There's this tiny logo branding in the front over here. So it's really nice. Now let's go ahead and put the AirPods Pro inside the case. Oh yeah, before I do that, I just wanted to mention, they say inside the box, born out of shared love of good design and quality products, Native Union creates considered solutions fit for the modern style lifestyle. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have the AirPods Pro case right over here. So I'm going to insert the bottom part first. So let's go ahead and do that. So it fits nicely in there without much effort. Now, let's go ahead and put the top part. So I'm going to go ahead and put the top part. And if the case, okay, so this part should be in the back. So you should always insert it the way where the space in the opening in the back is facing this way. So there you go. And I've pushed it all the way I can. And you can see it's a very tight fit, which, it, which was something I was looking for. A lot of the cases have this issue where they don't go all the way down. But as you can see with this case, it closes all the way. Open it. So this is how it looks from the inside. You can see 
the leather wrapped around there's leather wrapped around over here and there's still a snap so if you like that snap when you close your airpods pro case you still have that it's not as strong as it as it is without the case but the snap is still there and it's really really nice feeling it feels really nice now we'll have to see how it patinas over time but I also, they make uh, a light brown case as well. Unfortunately, when I ordered it, they were out of the light brown case. But if you're interested, they have that color as well. I think that color looks really, really sweet. That was my original choice, but unfortunately, they ran out of the light brown case. Now, in terms of protection, this will provide the minimum protection compared to other cases. So for me, my main concern was the keys rubbing against the AirPods Pro case and having scratches on top of the case. So that's the main reason why I got a case for my AirPods Pro. I could have got the silicon one, but the silicon one tends to get dirty over time. Now leather ages really nice, so over time it gets better and better. So that's the main reason why I was looking for a leather case. And I don't really drop my products as much, so if you drop your products, maybe you'll need something that has a little bit more bulk to it, more protection to it. But for me, I tend to like keep my uh, my Apple products in my pocket uh, and I need cases only from scratch protection. So I don't have to worry about drop protection. But if you're looking for drop protection, maybe you should look for another product. But if you're looking for a sleek looking case that will provide some scratch protection, then this is probably one of the cases you should go for. So that's it for today's video guys. So I highly recommend getting this leather case. The Nomad case was my second choice. And like I mentioned in the video before, the design was the main reason why I didn't lean towards Nomad, but it was a close second. I really like the design of this and this will provide some protection with the AirPods Pro case in your pockets. Now, if carrying the AirPods Pro case without any protection on top is your style and you don't care about it looking like a dental floss, then go for it, right? But if you want to add some protection to it without adding a lot of bulk, then I recommend getting one of these cases from Native Union, Nomad cases, or even the Native Union silicon case, which is also very sleek looking. So I hope this video helps you out, guys. I'll leave the affiliate link if you're interested in purchasing these. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, see you guys.